The Miami Dolphins have one of the most promising defenses in the entire NFL. Sure, they had their first share of struggles last year, but with a new defensive coordinator by the name of Vic Fangio, who many of you may remember from his Broncos days or the one of the better defenses of the 2010s with those 2018 Bears, Vic Fangio is going to be able to bring the talent in Miami into executional greatness. And one of the key components of that defense and why it's so young, promising, and ultimately likely going to be one of the better defenses next year is star edge rusher Jalen Phillips. Now, Phillips last year struggled a little bit and was the first edge taken off the board in that 2021 NFL draft. It was a strange year, and with pick 18 out of Miami, Jalen Phillips was selected. And Jalen Phillips had some promising edge to him, but he also had health concerns, and that was one of the main reasons that he had dropped down. But despite playing for Miami, he had an extremely good record, and came into the NFL and didn't necessarily succeed at first. But this year, he became elite, quickly. And as Brett Coleman said, probably the most famous person on YouTube doing these kinds of field breakdowns, he was a hybrid of both the Watt brothers, something that you shouldn't take lightly. Now, Jalen Phillips has the star power to be one of the best edge rushers in the NFL, and PFF even put him in the top 10 this year at number 6. So what makes Jalen Phillips so good, and why is he so hard to stop for opposing defenses, with some of his best games coming against the best defense that he's had to play against? Let's get into the tape and see why Jalen Phillips succeeds so much, and why he's going to be so helpful in making Miami a great defense. What's up guys? I'm Tyler Coker, and I'm your host for today's episode of Today with Tyler. I hope you enjoy. Jalen Phillips immediately stands out on tape because of his freakish speed. He's very much too fast for a larger offensive lineman, which allows him to dominate the slower tackles. Phillips is very laterally quick as well, darting around blockers and wreaking havoc across the offensive line. His speed can even threaten to turn into power, manhandling offensive tackles into their quarterbacks. That cower can be used raw as well, and Phillips has a tremendous long arm move. He's significantly too strong for tight ends, ruining blocking assignments and changing protection calls without even rushing. And Phillips' bat bull rush is perhaps the most deadly move he has. He can forklift even the best offensive tackles, as if they are children in his way. With that deadly combination of speed and strength, Phillips often kicks inside, since he's powerful enough to succeed on occasion at defensive end, while Miami's countless other effective edge rushers also get their snaps in. But what makes Phillips elite is his technique. He has blindingly fast hands, deadly for offensive tackles. His hands often swipe away tackles blocks before they can even react neutralizing their blocks entirely. His hand swipe allows Phillips to get into the backfield often, which is why he's such a productive edge, ranking 10th in pressures all of last season. So Jalen Phillips has the strength, the speed, and the technique to be an elite edge rusher. And for those of you who haven't watched any edge rushing breakdowns of mine, those are all extremely important, because while it's nice to have the physical tools of speed and power, that technical prowess is what truly stands apart the elite pass rushers from the good. And that's why Jalen Phillips is going to continue to dominate throughout his career. And Vic Fangio knows exactly how to use him. With a system like Fangio's, they're going to be able to get a lot out of Jalen Phillips. Miami's defense is now going to rely on a lot more schematics and let people like Jalen Phillips take a lot of pressure. It's going to be a great game and it's going to be a great team to watch because their defense has had promise for a couple years but with a coach as good and as renowned as Vic Fangio, people like Jalen Phillips are finally going to be put in the spotlight, and this powerhouse offense is going to be met with a great defense behind it. I'm excited to see what the Dolphins can put together, and I'm excited to see what the AFC East can put together, because now with another good defense coming out of that, it's going to be an extremely tough division on all four fronts. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.